literally last week and I decided it would be better to stay in Scotland. Let's just say it didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. Somebody just asked me, any new boyfriend? When are you planning on getting married? Good morning. No, that's a lie. It's not morning, it's actually 5.30 p.m. I'm, yes, I'm currently in my bathroom because it's actually the place that has the best lighting. I am also wearing an Aloha shirt. Let's be honest with you, real fast. I'm not feeling my best, I'm actually pretty sick. We had a little situation happen earlier today and I've been literally in bed sleeping and dying a little bit, to be honest. I finally got the chance and finally got the strength to sit up and get up. I'm not feeling my greatest, but I thought I'd just let you guys know, but I wanted to turn the camera on. I wanted to chit chat. I wanted to talk to you guys. Exactly what the title says. What in the heck am I doing here? What's going on? Where was I for two years, a year and a half? Why were videos still posting? And I was basically gone. We're gonna answer all that right now. Let's go find somewhere to sit because I can't stand for long. All right, you guys, I'm hoping that this is good enough lighting for you. Look at all this stuff, just, just showing you. Our room is a mess, you know why? We literally just got home. Cause we've had some life changes and I'm gonna sit here and we're gonna chat and I'm gonna share with you. I just sent out on my Instagram a question box for everyone to ask questions. First things first, y'all wouldn't, y'all won't even believe I was feeling really sick, right? And sometimes there are times when I get so sick when the cramps and when those feelings just get so bad, I literally faint. I literally, I was walking, I was like, I'm sorry. I was in a meeting and I was like, I'm sorry, I have to use the bathroom because I felt nauseous. I felt like I was gonna puke. I started leaving and I started walking down the hall and I started, oh, I started like, like getting like getting this, like this literally. literally. From that moment walking, I was like, okay, where am I? I can do this. Kind of talking to myself. I remember seeing somebody like in the distance walking, their back was towards me. And so they didn't see me. And then the next thing I know, I'm on the ground, literally laying there on the ground. And somebody's like, hey, 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 are you okay? Like helping me up. Granted, I'm, I haven't been here in Scotland for a long time. I haven't met any of these people. This person literally found me on the ground, like asleep, dead fainted who knows i was green i was literally green that happened like four or five hours ago and i've been laying in on the couch this whole time so that's what happened that's why i feel so terrible but let's get talking so first of all what in the heck where was i what was i doing as all of you guys know i was on a mission for the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints or the church that i frequent the the religion that i am a part of for the last year and a half and i was in brazil i had the chance to walk on the streets of brazil climb a ton of mountains we say subi mojos muitos muitos mojos gente do céu tried acai a ton of acai literally greatest thing ever i'm gonna have my family try some acai too actually i met a ton of incredible people i got to be a part of the culture and learn the culture have beans galore and just letting you know i think if any of you guys have been here long enough or have seen have like really know me i don't like beans at least i didn't like beans and now i do i love beans because i had it every day and the beans also in brazil are way better than here just saying it was amazing i loved it before my mission i filmed and i prepared and got all these videos ready to be posting for the last 18 months so that you guys would still be able to keep up and now we're back so now you guys are seeing me in the flesh not in the flesh because i'm through a camera but it is currently the 31st of december tomorrow is the new year i am actually going to be filming after this a vision board video so if you guys want to go over to my to my vlog channel i've started posting frequently on that now you guys can see all of my brazil videos too if you want you can see all, all my vlogs but stay here because I got some juice. I really have all these questions that you guys have asked me and we're gonna get started. Is it weird to be back home after being away so long? It is. Actually, I think it was weirder that it wasn't so weird, if that makes sense. I remember going through the airport and I remember seeing my parents and I was like, oh my gosh, like I can see my family. But it wasn't this crazy different thing. I called them every week. And so it wasn't actually super weird to see them, but it was the most amazingest thing when I was like in my house, when I was home with my family. Y'all are starting this off strong. Somebody just asked me any new boyfriend. Genchi, y'all, I've been back for three weeks now. No, no boyfriend. Didn't have a boyfriend, don't have a boyfriend. I wouldn't say I don't plan on having a boyfriend because I do want to grow, I want to have a family, I want to find somebody that makes me happy, obviously. But as of right now, no. I do not have a boyfriend. I actually found something that I wanna show you guys. It was literally a reel that I saw right before I started filming this that says, baby, you will find someone, the right one, someday. But for now, take this time as a gift. Learn how to love yourself. So I think I still really am needing some more time to myself. I'm obviously not going to avoid it, 
if people want to ask me on a date, I'll think about it. I really want to establish myself. I want to spend 2024 really finding who I am and being able to be the best version of myself for a husband, for my family, for myself, for my job, for everything. So what are your plans now that you're back? Well, that's why I wanted to film this. My plans are to continue YouTube. I want to grow. I want to have a connection with you guys. That's actually something. I want to be more honest. I want to really show you guys what my life is like. You guys are obviously going to see all the fun interactions with my family. You guys are going to see all the fun, crazy stuff. I'm a real person. I cry. Cried a lot today. Also puked. Maybe I'm being too honest with my analogy, but I want you guys to have a connection with me. So check out my Instagram, Clay Lay. I think it's in the description actually too. I have TikTok now. You guys can check all those things out. How is living in a different country, living in Scotland? Really funny thing. Um, I left my mission in the United States, right? Where we live. And I came back from my mission in another country. Let me just tell you, all the leaders, like when I was preparing to go home and they were booking flights and all that kind of stuff for us. And I was like, yeah, so I'm actually not going back to the United States. I'm actually going back to another country. And they're like, hold up. I don't know if that's allowed. And I was like, I hope it is because my family's not in the United States. So I'd be going back home. I'd be going back to like the United States. I'd, I'd get there and there's no one. That'd be great. So it's actually really nice. It's super wet, but I love it here. We have a river and we live on like a farm, which I love. I've always wanted to have that kind of a lifestyle. So I think it's super fun. I actually quite enjoy it. Somebody said, not a question, but I'm getting baptized today. Yay, that's so amazing. I'm so happy for you. You should send po photos. I'll try to find your Instagram. Y'all, y'all are really wanting me to just hit the ground running. When are you planning on getting married? Not right now. I don't plan on getting married right now. Um, I plan on first of all, working towards starting to date and finding somebody to date. And then after that, obviously dating around to find the person to marry, but that's not gonna happen. What was your favorite part about your mission? I loved the food and I loved just the little adventures that we got to go on. Every single day we found some kind of fun, crazy, weird adventure. Whether that was like taking a random different route, route or climbing. We didn't hike, so it wasn't like climbing to the top of mountains, but like getting to see over all these different places, like these super beautiful. So I loved that. Do you like USA or Scotland more? I think the two of them are amazing in their own forms. I think that I love the United States because it is my country. It is where I was born. It is the country that I'm, I'm used to, that I, I am American. And so I think I love the United States because it's it's who I am. Um, but I love Scotland because these people are incredible. I love how loving and how happy and how hilarious. I don't think I've laughed so much than in these last three weeks because there are people that are just hilarious. They're just so funny. And so their jokes are just so pure and I just love it and it makes me so happy. So I think that's another reason why I decided to stay. So I kind of said, that's why I'm staying here. Little rewind, my 18 months on my mission, I was like all over the place of what I should do because I know that the closer you are to the spirit, the closer and the better you will be able to receive guidance from Heavenly Father. So I was really trying to kind of not take advantage in a bad way, but take advantage of that opportunity to really figure out what I should do with my life. And so college, y'all know that I went to college. I was at SVU. I had a bunch of amazing friends at SVU. I was thriving. I was super happy. I was learning, I was studying a bunch, I was dancing. I miss dancing so much. And it was amazing. I adore SVU and I always will love SVU. So logically I was planning on going back because I finished technically an associates. I should be when I get back a junior. And so I figured I'll continue. I'll continue learning about business, learning about psychology because these are things I'm passionate about. But plans kept changing. I went back and forth. I literally was like, no, I shouldn't go. No, I should go. No, I shouldn't go. No, I should go. I literally got my apartment ready. All of my classes ready. I was registered for the school. Everything was ready. All I had to do was show up. School, okay, let me just show you. I am supposed to be there on the 6th of January. Just letting you know, it's the 31st of December. We booked tickets in October, a plane tickets to a different country because we're in the Scot Scotland. So like expensive obviously everything is super expensive and literally last week i decided i prayed a lot about this and i really thought about it and i decided it would be better to stay in scotland <sighs> yeah so that was my brain because we had plane tickets already we had an apartment we had classes scheduled we had everything ready everything was planned and ready it was one week before i was gonna leave because we're leaving tomorrow to go back to utah another story i literally told my parents i was like i'm sorry i 
I'm really sorry, I can't get over this feeling. I don't think I should be going back to SVU. I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. And it was this whole breakdown, crying a bunch. I had to tell my coach, I had to tell my, for the least, that I am not going back. Let's just say it didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped, but of course, logically that makes sense because it is literally two weeks before. So, having some, having some issues, having some difficulties with the lease logically makes sense because of I canceled literally a week before. We have some struggles with that going on, but it makes sense. I'm staying in Scotland. So that's one of the big things that's gonna happen in 2024 is I will be living in Scotland. I plan to travel. I plan to build my YouTube, build my business, build everything. That happened. Thank you, mom and dad, for the support. I love my parents. They are so supportive of me, but maybe next time I'll plan a little ahead of time. Some of the food you missed most while being away in Brazil. I don't actually know if I miss a lot of foods because that's the problem, is in America, in the United States, the food isn't a American food. American food is fast food. But America, the United States, we have Mexican food, French food, Brazilian food, all the other types of foods, right? We have, it's it's such a mixed place and such a mixed, I don't know, culture, I guess, that we just, we don't have an American food. And I, of course, I don't love fast food. That makes me feel terrible. Okay, actually lies. I miss, I think the one thing I missed the most was Chick-fil-A and Cane's. I'm so excited to get Chick-fil-A and Cane's. I just realized I'm gonna be able to get Chick-fil-A and maybe Cane's. I love, oh, I love so much. But yeah, that's probably the thing that I miss the most. This has been requested a lot. Can you please record a video only speaking Portuguese? So stay tuned for next week then. Because next week, I'll give you guys a little, a little clip it, a little um, sneak peek. I'm gonna be only speaking Portuguese to my family the whole day. And it ended badly. You guys are gonna need to go check that out. All right, you guys. That was kind of a little bit of an update on my life. Nothing crazy has happened yet. Actually, we will be headed to Utah tomorrow. I think that was a question. Just for a week, and then I'll be headed back here. Go and check out my vlog channel now because I have a ton of stuff. If you guys want to really know about how Brazil was, and if you guys really want to know how I was in Brazil, you guys are gonna have to go check that out. I think the videos will be coming out frequently, um, as well as my vision board video. I still have to figure that out, but go and check that out. Thank you guys so much for continuing to stay with me. Y'all are the real ones. So thank you so much. I love all of you guys. And yeah, that was today's video. Peace out.